Here is the new 0.95mm diameter flexible video scope. The all-in-one system comprises a handheld display unit with LED light source built in and a flexible probe section with glass fibre illumination and a camera chip in the tip. The included battery clips into the handle section. Before we proceed, a note about the joystick that you see. With the 1mm fibre, there is no articulation control because it is too small to house the control wires. Probes can be interchanged with the main unit and hence with other size probes there may be articulation. Here are some items which can be inspected with a 1mm probe. We have a turbine blade here, part of an exhaust system, a Yale type lock, and another precision component. To turn on, press and hold the on button and a welcome screen will be presented. Your live image is now on screen. Next we need to turn on the illumination. And as you can see, you can cycle through the output intensity levels by pressing this button repeatedly until it goes off again to turn it off. Once you've got the right level selected, you can start to proceed to your inspection. Here you can see that we're offering the probe up to the entrance of this turbine blade. And we can see a nice clear image on screen here. And you'll be able to see the vent holes in the turbine blade from the inside right up to the end there with a very clear full-size video image. Taking images is very easy, there's an image button there. Press once and you can see on screen that it's taken an image, a little confirmation icon. You press and hold the same button and it will start recording. Uh, now we'll try a Yale type lock. As you can see, there's a very clear image inside of the lock here. It's a 120 degree angle of view from the tip of the camera, so it's quite a wide angle view for such a small diameter probe. So now we're going to try the probe inside this exhaust component through an entrance hole there. We're going to make our way through to the main tube inside and you can see some colouring there where the one section has been brazed onto another. And even inside the main tube you can see a braze, uh, a weld inside there as well. It's a 120 degree field of view and despite being a forward view only you can actually see to the side a little bit there where normally you would have to have a 90 degree side viewing instrument. So um, the wide angle of view is definitely useful and it's a crystal clear image. On the underside of the handle there's another button and it performs the same function as the snapshot button or long press for recording. So this could be very handy if uh, you have one hand free and the other hand is operating the probe. On the side of the unit here you can see that there is a TF card slot or micro SD card, an HDMI port and a micro USB port. So there you have it, that's the 0.95mm diameter flexible video scope.